It's my first trip to Africa. I immediately was overtaken by the migration. But very, very quickly, I was introduced to the poaching world. Got to see firsthand the damage that was actually done. With the hybrid crisis and a global crisis in trafficked illegal wildlife products, dogs are a big part of the solution. For eons of time, the domestic dog and humans have been interactive and together. These four dogs were all rescued from the States because many of these dogs would have been euthanized had they not been given a job and channel all that energy into something meaningful. From the minute those dogs stepped off the airplane at Sasakwe Airstrip, that was the start of a form of prevention. Animals being killed at the hands of poachers. <laughs> They can do things that people just simply can't do. Just the mere deterrent factor, people knowing that there are dogs operating and the element of the unknown. You just need to enjoy one or two successes where a dog will indicate on an elephant tusk in someone's house. Word quickly gets around. And the one thing about Grimetti that I haven't seen in some other programs is that long lasting push of not just we want this to work, but this has to work. Protected areas are under massive, massive strain throughout the continent, and there's a lot of people doing a lot of good work. What really drives us here at the Singida Gumeli Fund is our need to learn and collaborate with people that have been there and done that. So many people just don't understand that these precious animals that so many people want to see are going away quickly. Having a canine unit here on the ground in the short space of time that we have is really motivating for us. There's no end to the plans that you can make and the strategies you can adopt to try and make a difference here. We need to be as quick as possible.